There's a new face. Where are you from? Indonesia. Huh? Indonesia. Indonesia. I heard you have been here before? Uh, yeah, I've been here two years ago. Two years ago. Ah. <laughs> Can't remember. Well, well, what part of Indonesia? Uh, Jakarta. Jakarta. And uh, Uto. Uto. Oi, you really, you really have to be a little bit more. <coughs> Throw out all these thoughts, you know, because they they are they are giving you a hard time. Yeah, yeah? thinking about this, doubting this, uh, thinking about the future, thinking about the past. You know, and the past has gone, the future has not come. Stay in the present <coughs> moment. Yeah, feel the body. Yeah, I mean, be aware of the body and be aware of the breath, or be aware of the Buddha. You don't have to plan anything. Yeah? Things happen, yeah? Just like the rain comes, and the sun comes, and the rain comes again, then there are some clouds, and there are no clouds, you know? Yeah? Everything, you know, I mean, everything works on. I mean, if you're longer here, you know, I mean, listen to the talk that I've given. I've given so many talks, explained, you know, probably everything, you know, that can be explained. I mean, we are here, you know, to practice, you know, practice the Fourth Noble Truth, Sila Samadhi Panya, yeah? Sila, you know, the part keeping the eight precepts when we are here, the monks, you know, the 27, 227. Yeah? <clears throat> and Samadhi, you know, the training Samadhi, you know, trying to stay with the Buddha, or trying to stay with the breath, yeah. And whenever the mind goes out into memories and in thoughts, you know, bring it back to the breath or bring it back to the Buddha. That's, that's where we have to be really tough, yeah? Don't let, don't let the mind go out and think about this, think about that, because that just disturbs the mind. I mean, these things don't happen, yeah? I mean, what you think about doesn't happen. It's just in your idea, thought, you know, and yeah, what is going to happen, yeah. Ah, oh, my mother is coming, you know, and we're so, I mean, it's useless. When she's there, okay, then you can deal with her, yeah. Hmm? <clears throat> the same thing, yeah. Hmm? yeah. I'm going back to Singapore, thinking about this, thinking about that, what is going to happen. We don't know, huh? <clears throat> Maybe the plane crashes when we go, you know, and then we... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't know what is happening. Yeah? So stay at the moment, then we can yeah, then we can decide what to do. Yeah? When we stay at the present moment, yeah, every oh every moment, you know, I mean we can decide what to do. Yeah. But the future we cannot, you know, we cannot determine what the future is, yeah. And if you if we look in the past, you know, I mean the past is gone. The only thing, you know, that we can correct, you know. It's in this present moment. If we think, you know, we can correct it and go back to the Buddha or go back to the breath, yeah? When we memorize, you know, I mean, yeah, then we go back to the Buddha or go back to the breath, yeah? <clears throat> and then see what is coming. So the mind is the ability to concentrate on one point, yeah? And be the, be the, uh, around the tip of the nose when we do breath meditation or be the Buddha. Yeah? And always go back, yeah? And that's where we need the effort. The mind doesn't want to go back. Huh? It likes to think about it. And then sometimes, you know, I ask yourself, how many times have you thought about that? And has it changed anything? Huh? Hmm? How many times have you thought about this, about that? You know, it doesn't change anything. It doesn't make it more real. It's just still a thought, you know, it's just, just still a memory. And then Panya is developing wisdom, yeah? Munta hmm? Mahabharata just talked about Sati Panya, it's the only weapon that can kill the Kilesatra. So, when we walk the path, you know, what, what is, you know, what is the, yeah? The Siddha Samadhi Panya, that is the path you know, to the deliverance, yeah, or to freedom. Hmm? The hindrances, you know, the hindrances along the path are the ten fetters. Yeah? 
What is the first fetter? The fetter of doubt. We don't believe that there's heaven, we don't believe that there's hell, we don't believe that there are beings in heaven, and we don't believe that there are beings in hell, and we don't believe in karma. Huh? We don't believe that good things, you know, have good results and bad things have bad results. Huh? Because we can't see them because they don't come instantly. Normally, if you, if you create good karma, you know, it doesn't come, in, you know. It might come within this lifetime, but most of the time, you know, it comes into the next lifetime, so we can't see the result, yeah, and far away. And it's the bad coming the same thing, you know, people who kill, you know, who are murder, you know, I mean, they might have a long life, but in the next, you know, in the next life, the karma comes back and they have a very short life, yeah. But first they go, of course, to hell, yeah. They can't see the results of the karma, so that's why they don't believe in karma. So that, that is the first, you know, that is the first factor. What is the second factor? Yeah? Not fiddling around with our precepts, you know, fiddling around, you know, with the five or eight precepts, yeah? Keep them for now, you know, and, and don't worry about it, you know, and just keep them, yeah? Don't go against them. That is very important. Yeah? And then you don't have any trouble, yeah? I mean, normally people, you know, keep them today and then they break them tomorrow and then they keep them, yeah, said, oh, I should keep them, you know, and then they keep them again for a while and then they break them again and then keep them. That is the second factor. Yeah? And the third factor is the belief that we and the body are one and the same thing. Yeah? I talk so often about it, how to, how to separate the chitta from the body. Yeah? <coughs> These three fetters, we have to break them in order to go or to achieve sodapan, yeah? stream entry. These three fetters. Yeah? And the most difficult for us, for most of us, you know, is, is the separation for, of the chitta from the body. Yeah? That's where we have difficulty. Separate it out, you know, I mean, cut off, cut, you know, cut the, the body into bits and pieces, you know, and lay it out in front of you and ask what is the body, you know, and what sees the body part, yeah? Because the, what sees or knows of the body parts cannot be the body part, yeah? yeah? And that's the same thing, you know, when you put it back, you know, then, then the sense of I and me and mine comes back, yeah? But when all the body parts are there, you know, and then the chitta is just looking, it is pretty calm, you know, it sees, you know, there's nothing going on, yeah? There's no me, there's no mine, you know, it, this is not my heart, you know, or this is my heart, yeah? I mean, it doesn't really matter, it just sees there's a heart, there's a brain, there's a... <clears throat> there's an arm, there's a, you know, there's a finger, there's a toe, you know, I mean, or there's a liver, there's, you know, whatever it is, yeah? Do it detailed or do it, you know, do it coarse, you know, whatever you want, yeah? This is, this is the most, most important, you know, and, and most difficult for most, most of the practitioners, but it is relevant for our, for our attainment of sodapana, of stream entry. Yeah? And what are the next ones? The next one, you know, the fourth and fifth fella come into, come in tandem, you know, it's greed and hatred, yeah? We want this or we don't want this, you know, we want to become or we don't want to become. Yeah? That is, you know, that happens, you know, we want to have a body or we want to have a car or whatever, you know. We want to have, you know, we want to have a wife or we want to have children or we want to have a good job, we want to have, you know, lots of money, we want to become famous, we want to have power, you know, and things we don't get, you know. Sometimes we get it and sometimes we don't get it. When we get it, you know, we have to come. Because, we, you know, we have to take care of it, we have to keep it, we have to preserve it. Just like in the apartment, you know, I mean, you get the things, you know, and then you have to take care of it, yeah? I mean, all the books, you know, they become dusty, you know, you have to dust them, you know, all the, the nice carpet that you have in your apartment, I mean, you have to dust it, yeah? I mean, in the, in the kitchen you have to, to keep it clean, yeah? All these things, the more things you have, the more you have to look after them and the more busy you are, yeah? <clears throat> so greed and, and, and hatred are, are coming in tandem and they are rooted in this body. And that's why we have to investigate the loathsomeness of this body. Yeah? The loathsomeness of the body, open it up and see. Yeah? And, and if you do it the first time and you, you want to throw up, yeah? I mean, that's okay, throw up, yeah? <clears throat> if you see the inside of the body. But that's what we have, yeah? It is all, you know, I mean, 
Why do we put nice clothes on? You know, to make something out of something that is disgusting. Yeah? Why, why do we, you know, why do we go to the hairdresser? Why do we go to the stylist? Why do we, you know, why do we all these things, yeah? Why, you know, why do we clean our, you know, why do we clean our skin, yeah? When we take off the skin, we see the mess. And nobody wants to see that mess, yeah? So, I mean, greed and hatred is always in connection with the body, yeah? <clears throat> So, and that is something we have to understand. So, the more we dig into the loathsomeness, you know, into the, into the ugliness of this body, you know, I mean, the more hate comes up and we learn how to deal with it. Yeah. So, that is, these are the four, five feathers, yeah? I mean, if the, the fourth and fifth feather, you know, are cut in half, you know, that is normally regarded as the Sakata, yeah, Sakatakami once return here. Yeah? And if they're completely cut, then you, you advance to the stage of Anakami. Yeah, and then you have the higher fetus. Yeah? <clears throat> Let me think. Oh, what is it? Ah, att uh, attaching, yeah? Being attached to form, yeah? And then being attached to formlessness, then restlessness, yeah? And uh, what, what is the other? Conceit, you know, and then Avicca. These are the five higher factors, yeah? I mean, so the Anagami still has a lot of work to do, you know, I mean, to be, be ought, in order to reach Nibbana. Yeah? <clears throat> and, the, and the biggest problem for, for the Anagami is, you know, is the delusion, yeah? And then delusion, you know, just like greed and hatred are rooted in the body, the delusion is rooted in memory and thoughts, yeah? Because they're intertwined, you know, you hardly can separate thoughts and memories from each other. You can't see thoughts as thoughts and memory as memory, because they're intertwined, yeah? They are, they are locked in together, you know? I mean, one comes with the other, yeah? And the other comes with the one, yeah? So, and you have to really, you have to really tear them apart, yeah? Until you see, okay, this is thought, this is memory, you know, and there are, thought is thought, yeah? There's no, no deal with it. Thought is not me, not mine, not myself. And memory is not me, not mine, not myself, yeah? You have to tear them apart, yeah? <clears throat> but then you still have to go for, for restlessness, you know, and, uh, <clears throat> and the other thing, yeah? So that is the path, yeah? I mean, listen, you know, I mean, that's all what I want to say today. You know, listen, listen to the talks. I mean, I gave much better explanation of each step, you know, in, in my talk, yeah? Take the time you can sit down, you know, in, in meditation, you know, close your eyes, you know, and just listen to the talk. And listen with your heart, don't listen with your mind, yeah? Just let it, let it fall in, yeah? Let the words fall in, you know, and just, you know, just like you take a bath, you know, yeah? I mean, it will sink in, it will sicker in, yeah? And even if you don't understand it yet, yeah, there will be a time, you know, where you understand. And that will help, you know, if you're practicing, it, it will come up at the ro a proper time, you know, at 12, it will help us, you know, to, to, to go on, yeah? To find, our, find the solution to our problem that we have in meditation, and so on, yeah? Or to know what to do, you know, when this happens or when that happens. Okay, so, do you have any questions? Last question from Singapore? No? Do you have any questions? No? So, are there any questions? And then we can read them out, you know, and then we can go back and practice them. So there's uh, four questions from yeah. one, one person. Four questions from one person, I mean. Okay. Um, recently, I started counting the breaths. Um, is there a downside to counting the breaths? Yes. Or we're just following the breath? Yes. <clears throat> you get confused. You think about where am I, you know, and then you... Yeah? If you count the breath, that, that is, you know, it is like... It is better, you know, I mean, just take the boot with breathing in and the door with breathing out. I mean, if you count, then count from zero to, uh, from one to ten, and then go back to one. Yeah? <clears throat> if you count from one to a hundred, you know, I mean, you get stuck, you know, everywhere. Yeah? But it's not helpful. Yeah? I mean, we try, you know, meditation is try to concentrate on one point, yeah? I mean, if we do things, you know, I mean, some, sometimes, you know, it helps, you know, but, you know, I mean, leave it out, you know, it's a third grudge, you know. 
I mean, we already have two crutches, you know, that, that we use, you know, to go forward in our meditation. That is the Buddha and the breath, yeah? I mean, now using, now using the counting, you know, I mean, it's a third crutch, you know, and I mean, then our mind, you know, goes between all these three things, you know. It should, it should only go back to one thing, yeah. I tried following the breath at the tip of the nostrils, but I don't feel anything. Mm. But at the abdomen, at the abdomen, yeah. I clearly feel it, so I've stuck to it. Yeah. Is it better to do it at nostrils, and should I try to do that way instead? <clears throat> I mean, because the abdomen moves. That's why people go to the abdomen. Yeah. I mean, it's not the same. It's the same thing, you know. It's the same thing, yeah. I mean, if we are, if we, if we are, yeah, if we concentrate on a thing that is moving, we will never get one pointed. We, we will never get the same kind of rest or peacefulness or happiness as if we stick to one point. So around the nostrils, this is one point, yeah, and we feel the breath. I mean, how can we not feel the breath? I mean, he can feel the breath, you know, going in, and we can feel the breath going out, yeah? <clears throat> or he can feel the hairs in his nostrils, you know, you know, I mean, moving, and, yeah, so, uh, yeah. It, it's the same problem, you know, I mean, it's with the counting, you know, the abdomen, yeah? I know in, 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 in Myanmar, I mean, they teach a lot about, you know, the, what observing the movement. But they don't get as calm as if you do it, if you do Anapanasati. The Lord Buddha never talked about, you know, observing the abdomen. He said, observe the breath around the tip of the nose, you know, know when it is going in, know when it is going in. Okay, next question. When I repeat Budo during daily activities, how fast should I do it? Is it as fast as I can comfortably? Yeah. Do it as fast as you can, you know, <clears throat> and you will see, you know, once the mind gets calm, it gets slower. That's fine. Then let it, let it get slower. Don't, don't try to push it, you know, I mean, follow the flow. Okay. Yeah. When I have free time during the day, mostly I spend my time lying on the bed or sometimes sitting on the bed. I read Dhamma books or just observe my thinking. Is there a downside to being in the bed, and should I limit it? I, I would limit it, you know, I'm putting some, something. <coughs> <coughs> I mean, <clears throat> normally it falls to, to sleepiness, you know, or drowsiness, you know, when you lie in the bed, or when you, I mean, you can sit in the bed, you know, I mean, if it's not that comfortable. But, you know, I mean, <clears throat> if you're at home, you know, I mean, Make yourself a place, you know, where, where you can sit, you know, where you sit, can sit comfortable on the floor. Yeah? And in meditation, sit in half lotus or full lotus or just cross like it, yeah. Close your eyes, yeah. And go always to the same place, you know, and have something, you know, like a Buddha Rupa or a picture of, of the Lord Buddha or, the, you know, of, of an Arahant that you, that you have faith into, you know. And, and then always, you know, I mean, face, face it towards them and then start the meditation. Reading Dhamma books, yes, you know, I mean, once in a while, but, you know, read, read the proper Dhamma books, yeah? Not what people think about Buddhism, but people, I mean, look for people, you know, who, who talk about practice, yeah? <clears throat> yes, I would advise, yeah? And you can feel it instantly, you know, when people talk about practice, I mean, you don't have to think about it, yeah? If people talk about the theoretical, you know, Buddhism, you know, it, it, you know, increases your thinking and you want to, you know, stop thinking. And, and the other thing that he mentioned, you know, watching his thinking, you know, I mean, he can do that and nothing will change, yeah? I mean, you can do that for the rest of his life, you know, the thoughts will still come up, yeah? So he cannot correct anything, yeah? We, we try to stop the thought, you know, and being, not being interested in the thought is the best way. Okay, so that's it. So, if there are no more questions, yeah, go back to your uh, place and practice. Yeah.